question is, most of the Shia clergies wear white turbans, while black turbans are for the descendants of, the, of Prophet Muhammad. How did these clergies manage to trace their uh, routes back all the way to up to Muhammad? All right, so, okay, first of all, let's actually show what you are referring to. Um, so what you're what you're referring to is Sayyids. By the way, I would have been as I'm a, I, I'm actually according to these records, I'm also a descendant of Prophet Muhammad. I'll I'll let you know in a second how that works. All right, so you can see you got white, white turbans, white turbans, white turbans, white turbans, black turban, right? So you can see Rohani is wearing a white turban. Khamenei is wearing a black turban, right? Here's a better picture. You can see white, 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 white. All of these are white. But you see one black here, one black over here, one black over here. How many of you thought that this is just like accidental or a fashion statement or something <laughs> like did you guys like did, did do people assume that they just like decide to wear black or white just like randomly like okay so this is black 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 but you can see it's mostly white right so the difference is that these black ones the, the black turbans wow this guy look over here looks like how many amazing um these black ones are supposed to be sayeds and Sayyid means, I mean, it literally means something else, but it's supposed, like, it means the, the, a descendant of Muhammad, okay? Well, a descendant of Muhammad through male, how do you say this? Lineage, a male, like, from father to son to son to son to son, okay? Because if it was just a descendant of Muhammad, I would also be a Sayyid, okay? Because my grandma, my grandma is a Sayyida, 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 a female version of a Sayyid, meaning that her father was a Sayyid, okay? So if your father is a Sayyid and you're a girl, you become a Sayyida, but then it stops with you. It doesn't pass on to your child or your grandchild, right? So I'm technically also a descendant of Prophet Muhammad, but I didn't get the title Sayyid. Why? Because my it wasn't my dad or my grandfather like as soon as it becomes a girl it just stops okay so these with these black ones okay so if you're a mullah right if you're an imam and you're wearing a black turban that means you're a you're a sayyid that is also an imam okay so that means their father was a sayyid his father was a sayyid his father was sayyid no girls no women all the way to muhammad you had sayyid 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 so it means they are male descendants of prophet muhammad okay um let me block this person okay logic explorer says i used to think that uh, oh yeah tullas were black and the rest were white no it's it's based, it's based on heritage these black and whites are based on heritage it has nothing to do with whether or not you're an ayatollah like okay if you were an ayatollah you wouldn't be sitting here right next to these losers right like ayatollah is like really high up there there wouldn't be this many ayatollahs <laughs> this wouldn't be like if <laughs> this wouldn't be this many ayatollahs right so how do they trace it i honestly don't know and i i okay what i do know is that I mean, if you're focusing on Shia Islam, Shia clergies, we're talking mostly Iran post Safavid era, right? Post post the Safavid dynasty, okay? Because before that, Iran was Sunni, okay? The vast majority, the vast majority of Iran's Islamic history, even you know, even post Islam, the vast majority of its history, yeah. Um, it was a Sunni country, okay? Shias were like in Egypt, right? If they had it, I mean, they were everywhere, but mostly if they had a country, 
you would say they were in Egypt. That's why you call it Al Azhar University. It was named after Muhammad's uh, daughter, which she has revered so much, right? Um, but when Safavid, the Safavid dynasty in Iran took over and made Iran Shia, they didn't have enough Shia scholars in Iran because it was so Sunni. Iran was so Sunni, right? So they just had to bring all of these imams or scholars from all these other places and you know they brought sayyid shia imams from other places and they just like accepted their their data i guess in who's a sayyid and who's not a sayyid and i think i don't know how they traced how how it was traced before that before the safavid dynasty i think it just accepted these these islamic scholars claims and then what I know now is in Iran or and everything that used to be Iran, like Iraq and, you know, all that region. Um, you know, they they just accepted the records and claims of all these scholars who were Shia. And again, I'm not a historian, but if I had to guess, I would guess that a lot of it is made up given how much gains there are for you to be able to like there's a lot of value for being a descendant of prophet muhammad so i mean the gap between the what the safavid dynasty and muhammad was a, you know it's so huge like who's who like i'm i'm pretty sure a lot of it is made up i mean not not um, if i had to guess a lot of it is made up but i know that the tracing uh, if from now to the Safavid dynasty, I think that has been very accurate. Like what, whatever the Safavid dynasty's records were, like they managed to from then till now, I think the record has been accurate. But what, where did that come from? I don't know. I have to talk to a historian. But again, if I had to guess, I would say that there is no provable record. You just have to go with whatever people during the Safavid dynasty came up with, right? Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I know. That's what we just said. Dal is saying clerics who wear black turbans are claiming to be Muhammad's descendants. Yeah, I mean, again that's they have a record there, there's a record for that and then again the record you're like the record is so accurate yes yeah, accurate from the stuff of it till now i don't know if it's accurate from before that and based on that record again i'm also a descendant of muhammad okay so show me some goddamn respect all right so there's that was that was that i don't know if that was a good enough answer like i'm sorry i don't have more detailed answer i think that's actually a very complicated question yeah that is a very complicated question like i think if you want to go after like where did the scholars got it before the self of a dynasty i think that's going to be something um you need a historian for <laughs> saying, what is it so that that was saying Muhammad, Muhammad must be proud of the work you are doing. Yes, yes. One of his own descendants. Okay, let's look at the next patron question. Yeah, starters. Wait, actually, Logic is for is here. Oh, yeah. So you're saying it was a great answer. Thank you. I'll read more about it. Oh, thank you. That's okay. Good. I'm happy that I was helpful. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.